Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons, I'm Emma and in this video I want to talk about an idea I just had for a scratch built stomper. So uh, a lot of people have been asking me, Emma, when are you going to do a stomper? We want to see a, uh, you know, a really bright bubblegum style stomper. And I want to do one too, I really, really do. Um, because, I mean, it's a huge, big, awesome model, it would be cool. And, I mean, just the idea of it going across a battlefield is awesome in and of itself, right? Um, I just, uh, I mean, I have so many projects and so many ideas and uh, I will... Not always, but uh, for a long time I've had the idea that uh, if I wanted, to, if I was going to do a stomp, I wanted to do something that I had uh, more or less like designed myself or scratch build or something. And there are just so many well, already made models that are also really cool and I also want to do. And I have, uh, yeah, I have way too many projects. And uh, so this is this is actually uh, before I even get going, this is a stupid idea, and I should just stop it right now. But uh, well, in my uh, my hobby <laughs> life, I, I have never let uh, anything like stupid or silly stop me. So why should I, I do this now? So uh, yeah, I want to do a stomper, but I want to do it. I want to make my own. It's not that I don't like the GW uh, stomper. It's it's cool. It's fine. It's just that a stomper is actually one of those models that I think you could reasonably well like design yourself. I mean, it's after all just a huge chunky dude with a bunch of uh, plates stuck to him um perhaps not the weapons i don't think i could scratch build the weapons but i mean perhaps i could but but i don't think i want to I, I think i would like go with like a bit of kit bashing instead but the idea with the stomper would be that i wanted it to be themed to match the um sna uh, beast snaggers so like a beast snagger stomper wouldn't that be cool so I just uh, want to show you a sketch I did really quickly by hand, and uh, as you can see, this is uh, this is not something that uh, I have spent an enormous amount of time doing. It's just uh, it's just a quick sketch, really, and uh, it's just to show you show, show you the general idea. So as you can see, the stomper uh, is uh, supposed to be more or less the same size as the original GW one, just because I want to make sure that uh, I don't make it either too too like tall or too short or anything so that it'll match uh, the size of a stomper pretty accurately so that it won't be modeled for either advantage or disadvantage uh, when you're playing with it then i uh, as you can see on the uh, big plates on the belly i want to do uh, some sort of design um, and I wanted to be like those of the Beast Snagger models that I love the best. So <laughs> as you can see on the middle one, it's uh, the little grot uh, riding the tiny one wheel squig with the rocket uh, on its back. I just think that's model. I mean, that's just so cute and it's so fun. And as you can see next to it, I have the grot with the, like the grot mechanic dude. Uh, also one wheeled and I, I seem to have a thing for one wheeled uh, small uh, models um, and you can also see here that I've decided to do them they're sort of a little bit um, a little bit stylized and that's because I want the designs on the plates to look like they are done uh, with sort of plates themselves so they're not supposed to be like really fancy um, like uh, sculpted molded armor plates I want them to be like armor plates and then they put uh, another layer of armor plates on top of them to create a design that's that would be probably the look I'm going for and there are two reasons for it one is that I think it would suit the orc aesthetic best and two is that I could not probably do a really fancy nice sculpt um, with you know in a really proper 3D manner anyway. So if I'm going to do it, I, can, I might as well do it stylized because I think it would look better and because I think that is actually something that I could relatively realistically achieve. I don't know if I could do it exactly like this, but I, I mean, anyway. Then I also want to do something with, you know, the Beast Snagger design. You, you, they have the, the fur and they have some sort of like almost dinosaur looking... Uh, scale going on so I want some of the armor plates to look like dinosaur scale and I'm thinking perhaps I could do something with either some leftover bits from my seraphon kits or I could perhaps do some sort of impression using a blue stuff where you like the silicone thing that you can heat in water and then press on something and use as a mold uh, perhaps I could use that on some scales from my seraphon and then use that to make some armor plates of 
Uh, as you can see on the head, I also wanted to have like a relatively standard uh, stomper head, but then with two horns. And one of them I want to be made out of like armor plates. Uh, and then I want another one to be like a real horn because they've stolen it off some sort of beast, right? Because these this is a beast snagger stomper. Uh, I want definitely lots and lots of uh, like uh, real organic looking teeth and horns uh, on this model to make sure that uh, I get the idea across that it's supposed to be from the beast snaggers. I also want perhaps, you know, uh, ordinary orc stuff like... Uh, bolts and rivets and chains and I want uh, some designs as you can see on one of the shoulder plates I want the you know the uh, very iconic looking orc, um, orc uh, skull I want that on one of the shoulder plates I think and you can see on the feet I want big big proper chunky stomper feet that can stomp someone uh, but then I also want like organic looking claws again to uh, I mean, again, to, to sort of tie it into the whole Beast Snagger uh, aesthetic. I'm not, I don't really know for sure if I want to have like bits of fur on him or not. Um, I mean, the Beast Snagger models do have it like a, around their shoulders and stuff, but I don't know if it would look too much out of place on a stomper. I mean, the idea is cool. Perhaps I could do a couple of armor plates that were not really armor plates, but like fur, but I, I don't know. Um, I don't mind that it get that it looks messy and uh, like something that perhaps was never meant to be <laughs> because that, that I think is the whole idea. Um, yeah, but on the other hand, I don't know if, if, it, if it would just, instead of just looking like out of place in a cool way, it would look out of place in a sort of, uh, that is just off kind of way. I'm not quite sure. Uh, then I'm thinking that the eyes perhaps should be like uh, slits looking like two... Uh, W's for like war, um, and I I know someone at the local game club who has helped one of my friends put uh, like really bright um, uh, almost like disco lights on one of her uh, uh, battle wagons, and that looks really cool. So perhaps I could get him to help me with putting lights inside this, so we could get it so I could get it to light up, so we could have perhaps have light in the eyes and perhaps even tiny lights in the eyes of the. Uh, uh, of the squig and the grots on the uh, armor plates on the belly. I, I mean, I don't know if that could, uh, how difficult that would be, but I think it would be so much fun. Um, I mean, uh, if if I could do anything I wanted, I would uh, I would want it to move or something like, <laughs> you know. I, I don't think I can do that. Um, but but at least a little a little bit of light perhaps would be cool. I think it would be fun anyway. So uh, yeah, um, as I said, this is just a really quick uh, sketch, so it's uh, by no means a finished design or anything. So uh, uh, this is something that is definitely open for suggestions and debate and ideas. So if you have any ideas, any sort of ideas for this project at all, uh, you are definitely more than welcome to let me know in the in the comments. Yeah, so. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this a, is this a go or a no go? Is this a silly idea? I mean, it's a silly idea. I, I I realize that, but is it like so silly that I should just give it up, or so silly that it's just go for it? That would be awesome. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> I I think I'm leaning towards this would this would be fun. I don't know if if I could like do it in the way I, I want to, if I could actually achieve those, you know, sculpted armor plates with the stylized uh, grot and uh, squick figures. I don't know, but I mean, sometimes the fun things about this hobby is challenging yourself a little bit. So perhaps I should just, you know, give it a go and then uh, give myself like a really, really generous deadline because I think if I expect this to be finished like in a month or two, I would burn myself out, but if it's like a long project that I could work on for like the next six months or something, perhaps it would be fun. Something that I could like mull over a little bit and do a little bit and then leave it for a week or two or even a month and then come back to it and do some more. Perhaps that would just be like a really fun ongoing project. So, uh, so what do you think? Do you have any, any suggestions? Let me know. Any ideas? And uh, if you hate it and think this is just the worst idea you've ever heard, I would also like to, uh, <laughs> to hear that as well. Uh, because, uh, I mean, 
there is only so much hobby time in the world, right? So I don't want to waste it on a a project that everyone else but me can see is totally uh, not doable and would not be cool when done. So let me know. And uh, also, if any of you guys have uh, Scratch built a really cool stump, or if you've seen one, you are also more than welcome to uh, leave a link for that uh, in the in the comments uh, because I want to see it and I want to get inspired by it as well. So uh, let me know and uh, thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you next time. Bye.